हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द नेक्स्ट पोर्शन ऑफ द ट्यूटोरियल ऑफ टैली प्राइम टू एक्सेल डैशबोर्ड एंड रिपोर्ट सो इन द प्रीवियस ट्यूटोरियल आई डेमोन्स्ट्रेटेड हाउ यू कैन एक्सपोर्ट टैली प्राइम डेटा इन टू सी एस सी फाइल यूजिंग द यूटिलिटी देन वी इम्पोर्टेड दैट डेटा इन टू एक्सेल देन वी मस्ट फ्यू वर्कशीट्स टू प्रिपेयर अ व्यू नाउ दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू एड फ्यू मोर कॉलम्स आई विल एड पिवट टेबल्स and from it i will prepare visualizations or pivot chart and then we'll arrange it to a dashboard so this video i will be concentrating on sales dashboard so just two visualizations to start with okay so first i will show you recap of the final output and then we will start developing it let's start okay now in order to create dashboard i need few more fields for this Uh, like let's say so ledger so i need group name or parent name of this ledger and the ultimate parent so like in my scenario data is organized again into uh, sub categories okay means or sub groups and then again after that ledger is there so i will pull up the parent okay so uh, let me add a field called group name and i'll say x lookup so search for this ledger name okay here in this name column and return parent now from here okay bracket close so this was group name okay now issue is that laptop dealers so this is not uh, this is a group name but ultimately it is under sundry daters okay so i name i require group category okay group category i'll say is equal to x look up find for this uh this group name okay in the group table here comma and return primary group okay return primary group from here now th now this is better okay one more thing specifically in my case uh, maybe you don't have that issue voucher type now if you see i have voucher type called b2b b2c so this this is nothing but a sales type of voucher but for better tracking i have created two voucher types called b2b b2c but ultimately it is a sales type of voucher so i will say i even require voucher type category x look up so i need to search voucher type comma in this voucher type table and return the parent ultimate voucher type you may skip this okay if you are using just only sales and purchase voucher type directly without any sub grouping you can even skip this okay few more things even we require other than us okay now regards amount now we know that credit is positive and debit is negative so for dashboards we will first require pivot tables and from that those pivot pivot table we will create uh, prepare charts which we will call it as a dashboards organize it in a single uh, worksheet for dashboarding okay now let's say Uh, so naturally if credit is positive so debit is negative so that means all my expenditure and assets are whenever i apply a sum in pivot table all my expenditure and asset side would be shown as negative and liability and income side as positive okay so this amount field is a bit dicey so let's create two calculated fields called net debit and net credit so net debit is nothing but conversion of all the debits into positive or if it is a credit it will cancel out that means negative so i will say is equal to amount okay this amount multiplied by minus 1 okay so that wherever debit is there it becomes positive instead of negative and we require similarly net credit net credit is nothing but dicto copy of this amount okay so I, i would not be using this amount column 
for simplicity okay so this is okay you you may see this positive and negative here but ultimately when we prepare uh, pivot table this will be clarified okay don't worry okay now i think this is enough let's start with our uh, first dashboard so i am going to concentrate on sales dashboard in this video let me go to the tally first and let me go to profit loss so i have sales this uh, something 32 crore 79 lakhs okay now if i go inside this there is something called sales bills to make so basically what i have done so goods have been delivered but i am yet to make sales bills so in the reports i don't want this okay so i i am i am going to ignore this because this is not booked as sales so my report will consist of sales left up only so this is the figure i need to achieve wherever totaling is done let's say first dashboard i want party wise sale okay or data wise sales so even data name or party name is not there so we have just group name and like this but for let's say sales voucher which party was debited or credited whichever is it so we require one more field called party underscore name so i will even pull this is equal to x lookup so based on this geo id search for party name okay party name here control space comma party name it is here somewhere at the okay here control space bracket complete sorry i think now we can prepare our first pivot table okay so i will turn it auto save on on so that i don't lose anything so this file is basically on my one drive i think in the last video i forget to save this file on one drive so ensure you always save this file on one drive so that you never lose anything okay now i am going to make a pivot table based on this so i'll go to insert pivot table and from pivot table we will create pivot chart which is nothing but our dashboard now i want party wise sales okay so definitely party name fields needs to be drag here in the rows but these are all the party names i i am just uh, interested in all the party names which have hit in sales type of voucher okay so voucher category so you might use voucher type name voucher type this field but i am going to use voucher type category because of that b2b and b2c thing okay so i am going to select only those transactions where sales type of voucher is used okay sales type of voucher is used so let me drag credit okay so sales would be credited or sales ledger would be credited so i will drag credit here now you would see something like this zero because our entries balance net of debit and credit is always positive because what i did so i just selected sales types of voucher types okay voucher types where there is sales written there but i just need credit portion and that too where where sales type of ledger okay sales type of group is credited so i will say that group category okay so currently it is summing up all debit and credit for the voucher types sales so i will say i i am interested only where sales account is used okay sales account is used okay let me zoom this a bit let's format this value field setting number format number so we don't require decimal separators let's match this to tally 32 58 78 252 32 58 15 so this doesn't matches let me see what's wrong i'll press enter okay so there is a credit note so if you see 32 58 78 252 okay 252 now there is a naturally credit note here 
or sales return you can say it, yeah there is a credit note or sales return so i even need to consider sales return or credit note for the amount to match so i will say where voucher type is sales and credit note okay sales and credit note 32581742 okay so this matches so this is rty sales automatically it has been sorted based on net credit now let, let's prepare a dashboard so let's say i want to represent this in pivot chart okay so uh, sorry bar chart or pie chart not bar chart pie chart so what i, I can do so I, i will say pivot chart and i'm going to select pie chart like this okay okay something like this and let me okay so what pivot chart is basically based on this pivot table it will automatically create a visual license and excel is smart enough to drag all the fields in respect to axis so this is our value axis this is our legends okay now you have some control here i like let's say i will say party wise sales okay let's imagine that you don't want presentation like this so you can customize this like let's say i don't want this okay because uh my end users maybe can play with this and this will ruin my pivot chart okay so i will go here in pivot chart analyze field button i will hide all this button okay so this looks good and there is one more good option just enable data labels okay now you can see amounts something like this but this looks very congested i am just interested in percentage so i will say data call out okay so now I, it is very clear amazon is 48% flipkart 15% okay tata click like this now let's so i will say this is party wise sales okay this pivot table represents party wise sale now let me cut this okay i want this dashboard in a centralized place let me cut this and insert one new sheet called dashboard or let's say sales dashboard okay sales dashboard and i will paste it here and i can okay let's change this color something to this so that uh, you quickly come to know that this is a dashboard very easily you can make it out and after few dashboards are means few visualizations are there uh, i will show you some few more options to make it very pro look professional okay let's replicate this duplicate this okay i will make a copy of this create a copy at the end now i want monthly sales okay next sales related dashboard is monthly sales so let me show this field list okay now instead of party name i will again drag this back i will drag this time date okay we'll drag date like this okay now it has year quarter something like this okay now again this quarter are misleading so this is a uh, based on global or us system that jan to march q1 is there but in our indian financial system april to june we have q1 so anyway quarter is not relevant for us and even year not so i will remove the year i will remove the quarter and i will remove the dates from it okay further level dates from this remove okay monthly okay now uh, let's prepare bar chart so that we track monthly sales so i will say pivot chart and automatically it recommended clustered column chart okay so bar is something uh, horizontal thing i want vertical which is called column chart okay now issue is that 
it starts with jan feb again global system of fiscal year so let's say i want to rearrange this okay a bit so i want to start from april may and jan feb march should be at the bottom okay so in more so more sort of option just set this to manual okay manual you can drag to rearrange okay and what i'm going to do so i am going to select jan like this on this and when i go here see i can see window like this and i can drag this after december okay i am going to select feb like this and once you navigate or place your cursor on the boundary yeah you will see a drag handle and march like this Okay, April to March. So this looks good. Let's again apply those few things. Like I want to hide all this thing. Okay. Let's start to beautify this. Okay, so this maybe looks good. If you want to change colors, you can even change colors. i think this looks good and let's change the levels okay monthly sales okay monthly sales i'm going to say this is monthly sales and let's cut this cut and place it here in the dashboard okay here somewhere in the dashboard so you can make it bigger like this and if you want data labels yeah something like this you can do okay you can always play with this okay and you can go to so now this ruler or this looks very bad okay so let's go to view and i will say grid, sorry grid lines so i will hide this grid line okay and let's change this design a bit i think this looks good okay so this wise it will look okay so this is this looks good sales dashboard like this we can prepare even few more now you would be wondering that whether this dashboard updates or not so what you have to do once uh, your tally data changes okay your tally data changes you have to again run the utility and regenerate the csv files when you run the utility against tally to database using the csv thing it will again generate csv files fresh csv file and once fresh csv files are generated you have to just go to data tab and press refresh all okay so this will automatically refresh all the sheets and all the pivot charts and tables okay so this way you can prepare dashboards i hope dashboard looks good so you can beautify it further so you can always play with the various option of the dashboard so if you want to download this demo data the link of this uh, tally prime backup is there in the youtube video description itself so please download you will require tally prime version 4 or above and ensure that you use office 365 version of excel which is always updated so if you like this tutorial please like the video subscribe to the youtube channel and please stay with me for few more videos of this series where i will be demonstrating few more dashboards